chapter five. So where's your boyfriend? Jimmy comes up to my desk on Wednesday morning and teases me. How come he hasn't been for school, in school for three days? Did he get sick of you? Leave her alone, Brandy tells him. You're being so mean. Mr. Cohen told you that Justin and his mum and brother flew to see Mr. Daniels and to look for a new house. I chew on a strand of my hair. They got back real late last night. It was foggy or something and they couldn't land right away and then they missed a connection or something and they didn't get there until three this morning. That's what Mr. Daniels told my mum. Then we get a call to her this morning. She said that they were going to try and get some sleep. Wow, that sounds so exciting, Brandy says. Their trip, I mean, not the going to sleep part. Yeah, exciting, I say, in what my mother calls little Miss Amber's sarcastic voice. Just in going to a real plane before I did. Life sure isn't fair some days, some years. Mr. Cohen flicks the light off and on. Continue working on your China project. I reach into the desk and pull out half of a peanut butter and M&M sandwich. I made it one day when my mother overslept and asked me to make my own lunch. When I look at the sandwich, I think about the joke that Justin told me before he went away. About the person so dumb that he got fired from his job at the M&M factory for throwing away every piece of candy with a w on it. I find the scrapbook under an overdue library book. Looking through it, I realise that there's a chance that Justin won't be here to finish it. Soon, I may even be sending postcards to him. I try working on the scrapbook, but it's no use. I can't. I'm too sad. When I grow up and remember third grade, I'm going to immediately try to forget this. This is definitely the worst year of my life. The very, 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 very worst. I thought it couldn't get any worse. My parents started fighting more than usual. I thought it couldn't get worse when my parents sat down with me at the kitchen table and told me they were getting a divorce. For a long time after that, I felt sick to my stomach every day. I sat down at the table... I thought the year couldn't get any worse when my father told me his company was moving him to France for at least a year. Things were just getting a little better and then I found out that Justin's father got a great new job. Justin and I begged him not to take it. Justin even offered to take a cut in his pocket money. I even offered to give Mr Daniels part of mine. But no, he took the job. He said that it was an offer he couldn't refuse and it was a great promotion with lots of money. I think that one of the worst days of my life was when the estate agent lady put the for sale sign on the Daniels' lawn. But then things got better because months went by and no one brought it. I did feel a little guilty being so happy that the house wasn't sold. But to be absolutely honest, not all that guilty. And now it's happened. Mrs Bradley saw the house and wanted it. Then Mr Bradley saw it and he wanted it too and they bought it. I was positive that the day two weeks ago when we saw the soul stick on the sun was the worst day of my life but that was only the beginning of the worst days justin and his mum have been so busy they haven't even had much time for me even though i still go over there mrs daniels is always packing and justin will play but he won't talk about how they really are leaving i feel so sad thinking about justin leaving and try to think of something good about him going my mum always tells me to try and find at least one good thing even in a bad time it takes a long while to think of one good thing and when it comes to me when Justin leaves, I can store some of my stuff in his desk. That way I won't have to clean up my desk. As messy as I, Amber Brown, am, I'd clean up my de desk every day if only Justin could stay. I try to think of other reasons to be glad that Justin is leaving and I can't think of one. Justin's being gone for the entire weekend plus two school days. Let me see, what's it going to be like when he really does leave? And I really don't like what I'm seeing or what I'm feeling. I, Amber Brown, am definitely one very unhappy human being.